Hello. Let's talk about slices of time and space and refining these moments of awareness. So, like many people, my initial introduction into most of the stuff was with the martial arts. And the first really, really skilled martial artist I encountered, I was noticing he would always ask if I was ready, and then <laughs> he would move, and I'd be like, oh, well, I wasn't ready yet. And this is uh, quite common with people who have high skill, right? Uh, and the reason for this is that their awareness of time and space, their awareness of your relationship with time and space, of your mind's relationship with them, uh, is much greater than yours is. And the result of this is that they can move, in this case, this man would move when uh, I was sleeping, essentially. So it became quite important to me at that time to get the most out of training with this teacher that I could. And I was certain that if I was unaware of what he was doing, I was going to be missing out on a lot of the lessons I could be learning. Uh, so I started a pretty intense meditation practice, uh, refining one-pointedness of focus, concentration, in an attempt to open up my awareness of slices of time and slices of space. So a very basic example of this would be, uh, say, awareness of the breath as a meditation object. And you have awareness of the inhalation, you have awareness of the exhalation, the space in between inhale and exhale, the space in between exhale and inhale. And then as you keep practicing, you will start to discover more and more moments of the breath. Now, just like watching the thoughts is a process not of watching the finalized thought form, but of observing the arising, the process of arising of thoughts and the process of falling away of or cessation of thoughts, the same is true for the breath. We don't want to get stuck on the form of the, the finalized breath, what it feels like at the end, the end <laughs> game of the inhalation, the end game of the exhalation, or the spaces in between. There is the process of breathing. There's everything that goes into the inhalation. Where does the inhalation come from? Where does the exhalation come from? And through this, you start to dive deeper and deeper into uh, very deep, deep essence, uh, essences of our being. Uh, so, slices of time and slices of space. We want to cultivate awareness of these. As we gain more awareness of the minutia of these two aspects of our reality, we're able to pull apart uh, lessons from day-to-day -day encounters, uh, even something as simple as going for a walk, how your foot hits the ground, the feeling of the ground against your feet. I'm on soft earth here, so I can feel how the force gets dissipated through the earth, different from harder ground. Um, you can feel that the, the spring is here because there isn't that uh, perma-cold you know, underneath the ground that's keeping it hard and frozen. So there's, there's many lessons you can find in your own reality, in your own state of mental um, wandering, we could say, your own understanding of how you engage mentally, emotionally uh, with your environment. And as time and space open up to you, it gives you that much more uh, in your experience that you can draw from and pull from. Okay, hope this was helpful. Thanks for your time. I'm a little bit winded post kettleballing. Have fun. Practice. Bye.